What's up guys, Techups here, welcome back to another video, hope you guys are feeling great and today Apple has just released iOS 11.0.1 to the public, yeah, not a beta version but it's a public version so you can go ahead and grab this one in your settings, general and software updates just up here but if it's not available for you that means you have an IGM and you have actually installed a beta profile so that means you need to go ahead and install this one from the profiles and device management category in order to install this firmware onto your device. So if we take a look at the software update panel as you can see this firmware weights around 300 megabytes in total so that's actually a lot comparing to the latest beta that we got from Apple this was around 50 megabytes and this one is 300 so there is a bunch of different bug fixes and improvements actually you know hidden inside of the iOS to make the user experience much much better and of course to eliminate a lot of lags and glitches that are currently present on the iOS 11 and if we take a look at the bill number as you can see that's 15A402 and there's no A at the end that obviously Obviously because it's not beta software and uh, there's also some of the you know bugs actually fixed on the iPads so now if you try to split you know the keyboards on your iPad now the animation should be pretty smooth you know one single thing that I wanted to really you know uh, check out in this particular firmware is the uh, 3d touch on the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 6s so unfortunately iPhone 6s now is not updated but let's try this one on the iPhone 7 plus and it looks like this lag has not been fixed. So yeah, it's a little bit better right now, but as you can see, that's still kind of, you know, laggy when it just, you know, jumps in and then freezes and then jumps further. So it's a little bit strange. So hopefully this will be fixed, of course, in the near future. And now a little bit more about the jailbreak. So I actually seen some of the tweets from this famous people who are uh, into the jailbreak, you know, and they said uh, that uh, they actually found some of the vulnerabilities and they know them. Uh, in the iOS 11. Now currently in iOS 11.0.1 uh, those can be actually fixed so if you care about the jailbreak and you know you want the jailbreak for the iOS 11 I would recommend you guys to actually stay on the iOS 11 not the iOS 11.0.1 because here this, these vulnerabilities may be fixed and so on the other hand if you care about stability and the performance of your device and of course the battery life you'd better update to the iOS 11.0.1 because of course this brings a lot of different improvements you know imagine how many of these I can be packed into 300 megabytes you know there is a lot of them but anyways guys I think this should be pretty much it oh I just seen this one look at that so we actually have a different folder tint on this folder so this is another issue that Apple has to fix so yeah guys I mean this should be pretty much it for today of course I wanted to kind of bring you a little update of this firmware tell you everything about it and of course if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash the like button and also please share this video still be so so much appreciated like always and as always guys I really hope to see you around on my next one and peace out.